No guys, this is not Oregon. This is 10 minutes from my house. So I, studying the map, studying the, uh, some of the trails from Google Earth, and I discovered a trail that wasn't really uh, mentioned or marked in any real way. And so when I went to go explore it a couple weeks ago, um, I found the stream and the running water and decided today to go up and explore it some more and go higher, as high as I can go within like a six hour period. So I think I've been at it for about an hour now and uh, welcome to my you know, little spot. Yeah, so I'm just really enjoying my day. I'm the only one out here, like I said, because I think it's largely forgotten. And uh, yeah, come with me as I do some little waterfall photography and uh, timed exposures during the daytime. So I've got my 50 millimeter um, set with an ND filter that's actually graduated. So I can actually twist it and increase the ND um, amount and uh, got butterflies flying around everywhere. It is just a beautiful place and a beautiful day. It is a little warm, you know, it's the end of July and it's about 80 something degrees outside. So carrying 30 pound plus pack of stuff, it's pretty heavy. Aaron's off doing some stuff with his family. Uh, they're doing like a five day family reunion type thing. All right, so I'm getting thirsty from walking around a little bit too much. So got my trusty life straw. I'm gonna go over to the stream and get myself a drink. Hey guys, so the other night when I was up here, I actually broke my tripod when I fell into the water at the very end of the trail where there's a couple logs that go across the stream and uh, to start on your way back to the base uh, trailhead. And uh, yeah, I bent the metal poles. Like, I don't even know how I did, but uh, they were extended out. Um, so it was a three segment, three segmented tripod that was a Manfrotto and it was, uh, aluminum poles that got bent when I had them just the two bigger segments, the longer or the, the top segments pulled out, not the skinnier ones. So yeah, they, they all three got bent and I had a heck of a time trying to put them all back in when I got to my car and I couldn't figure out what was going on. So I just chucked it in the car and went. And when I got home, I realized that they were bent. So I had to go looking for a new tripod. So I wasn't really excited to pay for a brand new tripod, even though having something carbon fiber and lighter would be nice. I ended up finding something used. And so I've got this, uh, this old, and it's just as heavy as my last tripod. So yay, no weight savings there. But um, it's a bit sturdier though. And this is a, uh, it's a used Vanguard. And as you can see, it's pretty chunky. I mean, look at the legs on that thing. They're really, really thick. So uh, my, my head, so my leveling base and my ball head they all fit on there just fine, screwed on just just fine, and uh, yeah, it's very, very heavy duty. So I don't have any problem putting this thing in the stream. <clears throat> I'm not worried about the um, it washing away or anything like that. Uh, it's really nice and heavy, and the cool thing is it came with a strap. So I'm actually going to use this camera strap here and hook my hook my camera up to my to my harness here, and then I'm going to throw this over my back and go light and leave my pack here um, in this spot as a resting spot. And then I'm gonna go hiking around and get some more pictures. So, so far I haven't really taken any pictures today. Um, I'll show you one picture I got the other night from that uh, spot right there that I showed you in the video. Uh, I'm really happy with the, with the photo. That was actually a long exposure taken after sunset. Um, it was a 30 second exposure. So today I'm gonna see if I can rack up um, some 10, you know, maybe somewhere between six and 10 second exposure with my ND filter on my 50 millimeter and uh, give it a shot and see how it goes. Okay, last time I was here, I found this part. And it was well after sunset. So I'm excited to see this part. It was my favorite part of the trail. 
at that point so far that I found. As you can see, it's just beautiful with a rock path on each side, you know, butterflies flying around, and it's just gorgeous. So I love the tree canopies. So yeah, as you can see, this is just a beautiful, beautiful path. With the long grass growing the sides, it's just, just awesome. So you don't get a whole lot of this in the desert high mountains, so I was excited to find this. Okay, hey, I found some more wild raspberries, so come check these out. So I've grown raspberries in my backyard. I spotted these immediately when I saw them the first time. And you can see this whole... They're really like soft, but really super sweet, man. They are just amazing. And so I've grown back raspberries in my backyard before, and I know what they can taste like when they're ripe. And some of these are still really, you can see the pink. That's like still two, two, maybe three weeks out from turning red and ripening. And some of these are really dry. So it seems like the plant had a lot of premature um, fruit and now it's still getting ready for more. So it looks like it's gonna be kind of fruit that it's gonna go all summer long because some of them are already dried out and more like dried raspberries. But it's surprising to me. I don't see any squirrels or chipmunks around because there's so much fruit. I mean, I, I, they're everywhere. They're all over the stream. Mmm, and they're so good. And so sweet. Ooh, that's pretty. So I'm finding some more waterfalls as you can hear. I'm gonna show you. We're right, right down there. And then there's that one right there. That one is really nice. So um, I think I'll be sitting on my tripod here pretty soon and see what I can do picture-wise. All right, so I got my shot set up here. As you can see, that, that waterfall right there. It, uh, it's got a lot of character. There's a lot of green moss around here as well. And I was shooting down on the other side down there earlier and kind of just moving around this whole area. So um, some, some little pools have been built up here and uh, it's just a great place to shoot. There's more waterfalls up there, up, up, the, up the, the way. But as you can see, there's light patches. So I'm in a pretty shady spot. I'm nice and cool, but I'm seeing that there's, without the ND filter, there's no way. There's just no way. I would have, there's too much light coming in. Um, the light patches from the sun coming through the trees are just bright enough to, they would have blown out. And they've already blown out some of my images and the ND filters turned almost all the way up. And so, um, I've got it mostly set to aperture priority, but uh, I did a couple manual mode uh, to try to cut down the amount of light even more. So like a 15 second exposure when the, when the camera wanted to do like 30 second exposure. But that being said, um, if you're gonna do this kind of photography in the daytime, you have to have an ND filter. It's just, it's, even if you have a lens that goes to F22, you're gonna get like a second, second and a half, and you're gonna get not the, the silky soft blur of the water that you really want. And uh, you're gonna have super crisp image, but it's gonna be too much, too fast. And uh, I'm gonna hike up some more now because there's more waterfalls. This is just an amazing area. <clears throat> more waterfalls up here. And, um, and I'm really thinking of Dan. The next time I come up here, I wanna bring Dan Linhart with me and him and I are do a video. And, uh, and maybe we'll even explore some more up in the rocks and stuff. Because there's some, I'm seeing some cool places up around me that are opening up and it's just, I, I, I could spend all day here, seriously. Amazing.
Okay guys, so I found this shot here uh, with a stream coming down. You can see in the picture, a nice long exposure. You know, so this is, I mean, this is already a beautiful thing to look at, right? But then when you can do a 15 second exposure and it looks like that, that that's what you're going for, you know? That's what you really want, right? You want the, the, the moss and the rocks to be super crisp and the water to just be silky smooth. So um, I guess I'll tell you really quickly about my ND filter while I'm here. And I'm gonna pull my camera back up here. So what I have here is a, uh, an adjustable ND filter from Newer, Newer Tech. So you know we're all familiar with this brand, right? The Chinese company. Let's see if I can get a focus on here. It's not letting me focus on it. All right, well, let me try, let me try that again. Okay, so here we have a New Year brand um, variable. So what happens is if you can see here, see if you can see my, my lens at all, get a reflection, no? No, it's kind of hard. So what you have here is you have this little, this little guy here, this little triangle tells you this is the minimum. So it's pretty clear. It's maybe like an ND one or half an ND filter. And then the more you go, you can see the dots, the squares get thicker and thicker to the max, which is like practically black. Like if you're shooting directly into sunlight, even a 30 second exposure on this turned out really dark. So this is usually where, usually where I want to start between here, the, the, the last four is usually where I've been going. And uh, it's pretty awesome. So as the light changes and as it gets darker, I can, I can bring this down. And uh, it's pretty slick. I mean, I love being able to uh, change my exposure just by rotating this thing and it changes automatically to six seconds, eight seconds, 10 seconds, 15 seconds. And uh, at 15 seconds, man, this water just turns into glorious uh, blurs as you see in the video. So uh, pretty awesome. So yeah, I recommend this. So uh, we'll put a link in the description for this uh, newer variable ND filter. Uh, right now it's a 72 millimeter, so it fits my 50 uh, 1.2 perfectly so i'm pretty happy with that so yeah check it out okay guys i found another great spot um this is a i mean that's that's a pretty sweet shot but i mean look at the staircasing of this waterfall going all the way up there and i've already got my shoes wet you know i fell in a couple times and so i want to go up in there and i i just didn't put my water shoes on i brought them with me and they're way back at uh, my little base camp that I set up and just brought my camera and tripod up the trail further. And holy moly, am I seeing just amazing compositions. I can't wait to bring Dan back. And I'm gonna definitely throw in my water socks and my, uh, and my water shoes and just go trudging up the stream next time with my shorts on. I got pants on today too, just because there's some brush up you know, in the path. It's not too bad. Could definitely bring shorts next time and holy moly i'm just loving this area man i can't wait to do another video and uh and bring the guys back with me dan and at least dan and hopefully aaron can come with too so we're going to try to plan that out around aaron's schedule and man just look at this gorgeous gorgeous scenery i mean you got another little, little waterfall here i'm standing on some little broken logs you know and there's just a combination after a combination for this place you can see the the rock wall of the canyon go pretty high so i'm not actually sure of the wilderness in this, or of the wildlife in this area and um so i'm taking precautions because you know there could be cougars and maybe bears up here for all i know so uh, i'm doing my best to uh, to be aware and um yeah keeping my eye on my own back i guess <laughs> So that's another thing to be aware of when you go out in the wilderness, be aware that there's wild animals. And, uh, you know, I, so I ended up buying a little, little sheath knife, knife yesterday uh, for this trip. So in case I come across anything that wants to eat me, I can at least defend myself. So um, that's one thing you might want to be aware of. So yeah, another, another little tip there for you. And uh, I'm gonna continue up the canyon some more this way and around the corner. I'm super excited to see what else I can find because so far it's been one awesome surprise after another. So I'm walking down this path over here and I looked at this pile of rocks going all the way up to the 
hillside and the mountaintop there. And I saw this interesting structure right there. So I'm gonna go check it out, see if there's anything cool inside. Hopefully there's not a homeless person in there. With these kind of big boulder well they're kind of medium-sized boulders small boulders kind of easy to walk up so it's like big stairs which is nice you know they're kind of loose they're wedged in there pretty good let's go check, check this place out I haven't seen anything to this extent built up like that before so that's really interesting somebody obviously put a lot of time into building that little fort there Okay, I'm gonna sidestep now. Cross, see what's inside. It's just a fire pit, it looks like. So, pretty cool. Man, there's a lot more stuff to explore. Look at these mountains all around. And it's crazy to think that I'm literally the only one in this canyon right now. It's so insane. Look at how big these rock cliffs are. Yeah, it's just nuts. So, kind of cool. That's a big fire pit. But the thing is, there's no, I don't see any fire, so I don't know if anybody actually set a fire in here before. Just someone just built up the structure. Man, that must have taken a lot of time though. That's nuts. And there's a Karen on top telling us this is the path, so. Huh. It's funny, so my tripod and camera's down there. I'll, I'll scurry back down and continue on the trail some more. Oh, it's a hummingbird. You can tell hummingbirds because of the vibrating humming noise that they make and it's just flying around right up there. So I'm at the end of my trail. It's almost 7.30. I should go home and get dinner. I've been hiking for maybe two and a half, almost three hours. And it's been a blast. Wow, I got some fantastic pictures. I can't wait to show you guys. Um, now it's time to turn on my tracks and hike back to the trailhead and see how far distance I traveled and elevation, all that good stuff. All right, thanks guys for watching and we'll catch you later. Okay, just heading out down the trail, almost to the trailhead. Just show you guys some beautiful golden hour light on the trail as I walk home. And you guys can enjoy this moment with me. Oh, look at that beautiful light. Okay, it's not as beautiful on the screen. Apparently, it's more beautiful in real life. Who would have thought that? Seriously, turning out to be one of my favorite places ever. This is the fourth time I've been on this trail now in the last two weeks, or three weeks maybe. And uh, yeah, just loving it. So I went up pretty high, got to my goal today, the point on the map that I wanted to get to. Happy with that, got some amazing pictures on the way there. And yeah, heading home for a nice, well rested. I'm sweaty all over, I mean head to toe sweaty. I'm gonna jump in the shower as soon as I get home. And I need something amazing and then relax with my wife and watch something. All right, you guys, have a good night. Stay awesome.